I spy. What do I spy? <laughs> More grinding stone. Yay. Great. Let me guess. Not grinding stone, I guess. Correct. <laughs> I got it. I got it. One of each. Funny. I found uh, something. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, I should have saved. <laughs> uh, I think I found that. I, I think. That might be it. Oh, okay. Reading time. All right. Let's go. Day 16, month something, year 4000. All right. That's been a long time ago. A strange flash pierces the gloom, and I feel drops of searing blood run down my chest. The wound healed by Turn the Lev reopens and weeps scarlet. But there's no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears. A cave chamber. This one or another one entirely? My heartbeat quickens and a stream of thoughts suddenly butts into, bursts into my mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery! They betrayed me, trapped me and stabbed me in the back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I soared to protect. The people of whom I descended from hever, heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. Oh, memories of the angel. Oh no. Got it. There they are, up ahead, in the gloom of the cave. What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw any closer? Do they believe I'm about to die from their traitorous blows? Next to me, a quiet moan. A girl with a golden braid lies in the rocks, clutching her slashed side. She refused to join with the traitors and paid dearly for it. I could have tried to run, but I will not. At least I will still have strength. I must. While recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, my intuits uh, that I can control them somehow. Let's try to... What should I do? I'm not really some okay. Let okay. Let let's let's play goodies. Let's just be goodies. A spark of healing magic illuminates the eerie, murky scene before me. The wooden girl opens her eyes and whispers, "Lariel, you said that everything was going to change soon. You said you and the other warriors of heaven would be leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever. Is that true?" The frenzy of foreign thoughts comes faster and faster, like a rushing river, and images flash by one after another. A priestess in colorful robes observing the stars, a young female paladin praying, clutching her glowing sword, a majestic golden winged angel gazing into the, dis the distance. His face covered by a helmet, but his voice ringing clear, only if you're willing and only if you're ready. There is no going back. Then don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is more important. You take care. It is near. There in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within the depths. A vague shadow. An outline. A nightmare come to life. A wave of audios chirrupting and rustling emanates from the shadow and the sound piercing like hot irons lancing through flesh and bone. The traitors fall to their knees before the shadow in reverent ecstasy, and the wounded girl thrashes in her death throes. The yawning chest wound bursts white hot, and my head pounds with pain, and it's no longer clear whose pain it is, the person called Lariel who sent this vision, or the one unlucky enough to receive it. Okay, so I have a will check. But my will is not good. And then I have our arcana check. Which is, I suppose, better. But I know how to resist malignant influence such as this. No matter its origin. Yes. Nice. Oh, look at it. Look at who it is. It's the very demon that just destroyed our dragon mom. Wow. 
The force of the attack, though originating in a vision, is terrifying, but I'm stronger. I shake off the pain and torpor, but alas, the only the one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken and exhausted. A monstrous shadow emerges from the murk of the cave. It is not real. It exists only in this strange vision or memory. But the thrill of fear it provokes is more than real. The shadow's features starkly resemble those of the Skari, the terrifying demon lord. In a movement as swift as though itself, the monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one they called Lariel. The foolish angel, struggling on the rocks like a fly with its wings torn off, intones the shadow. Its voice changes as it moves, shifting from a quiet whispering to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old, and quavering. Where is your goddess, angel? Where is her self-assured herald? How is that you are dying here alone, so far from the light of your heaven? Oh my god, I need water. A strange calm envelops the thoughts of the one called Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him and he knows he will never bow down before his enemy. This flaming sword flares to life in his hand, bright, pure, flickering with multicolored spikes like the sunbeam through stained glass. Slash! The blade slices through this demonic creature's flesh and the monster recoils with a howl, releasing his grip on Lario's throat. The angel falls back heavily on the rocks. His vitality is ebbing but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword and with his last burst of strength plunges it into the rock. I sense that the vision is fading. The rush of thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing I hear is this. You will kill me, monster. This I know. But one day, someone will come here and raise up my sword. They will raise it up and... Punish evildoers and traitors. The vision disappears, vanishing in a burst of colors. I did not hear the final words. But I seem to complete the thought, taking it to heart. The words fly from my lips and with them, something else. The heat blazing in my chest fades away. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, I see the flaming sword in my hand, or rather, its outline, the memory of what the sword looked like. With a final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes and the light is drawn into my hand. I sense that it will return. All I need to do is call it. Well, I I found the sword, guys. Um, uh, yeah. Hey. And something Are weird just happened. Right? You were kind of glowing just now. Sila kneels before the light, offering up a prayer to Yomide. That. That was it. The light of heaven, but how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? Um. Don't feel compelled to tell them about Lariel. It's only us here. Your group, you, me, Wendu, and the light of heaven that sort of got, uh, sucked into you? <laughs> Any chance you can whip it out again? We do kind of <laughs> need it. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous. I like him. And when I'm upset. And when I'm happy. A anyway, what I said, it came out wrong. We need to bring you to Chief Sum. You can show everyone the light of heaven, we'll rally the tribe and go into the maze and we'll get back our kin. Right. And what if she can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. Hmm. As far as I'm aware about mythic paths, I won't choose them until further ahead, like much further ahead. But, um... A friend of mine told me that if they appear like this, like, if I have the option of, like, reveal 
uh, the path, then uh, I should definitely do it. Because then it gets on the list of Mythic. That is just... Wow, I mean, that's amazing! Heaven has truly blessed you. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yeah, until you get um, until you lock the paths, you can gather and use them kind of at will. Okay, so every time uh, a mythic path shows up, I have to select that option, so it unlocks pretty much. So it's like into the the backside of my mind, like oh, I have this unlocked, but I won't really be going for it until further ahead, right? Yes, it's similar, but this Thanks, light Len. is more golden. Chief Sol needs okay. to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. Um, I think I saw the memories. Oh, shoot. I don't want to tell them about the angel. I don't trust them. Hmm. What should I do, chat? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... No, I'm not gonna tell them. Lead us to your chief, and I'll decide if I'm going to help you or not. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. Okay. Look at that face. How can you not learn? No, what is that? Where is what? Where, where, where is what? Was the mobility check that I already knew was there? That that's what you found? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how my mobility is like. Oh, I have protection from evil for the next 10 minutes. Let's use it well. We did it. We did it. They oh. My I see spooters. Oh no, I see spooters. Oh no, what did you guys do? You're a zen archer. Don't think I'm gonna be using you in my party. Aren't you pretty? And you are a fighter. Also using a bow. No. Um, what do you have proficiency with? Um, martial and simple weapons. Anything in particular. No, you're good with the bow. The precise shot and point blank shot. Okay, so I'm, oh, she she has the the one, the the deity I wanted to go for. Okay, I like her already. Um, him though. Is he a bow guy? Is he a bow person too? Yes. Perfect strike though. So he can be either point blank shot, combat reflexes. I can give him. I mean, he's a monk. I can just. I yeah. Hunter, but also monk proficiencies, unarmed strike. You can just make him go melee, though I do have too many melee people already. Okay, let's just save and let's go. Okay, next. That was fast. No loot, no loot anywhere, no loot anywhere. Um, okay, so alt is my my whole whole party. Got it. What is this? Oh, right, Bezwar. Alstic mold for brew making and region. Okay. Right. Oh, I see something else. Okay, 
so according to my map, I can go where? Get across. There's a mobility check here. Let's let's try. Did you see that? Oh. Is there anything here? Small earth elemental. A few of them. No, everyone on a single one. Trail me. Nice. I love me some wood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. One of cure light wounds. Who do I give this to? Who can use that? Can you use that? You can't. Can you? Yes, you can. Great. Um, Non-stacking bonuses. Okay, good. Now this one shows me. That's that's nice. She's also melee. Uh, great. Who wants some? Great lucky bracers. So I have plus one luck bonus to the things that I lack. Right here. Okay, all right. I see I see you game. I see you game. <laughs> okay. Let's go back. Um let's travel back here. I did it. I did. Anyone who got that reference probably played Kingmaker. Just so you know. Um I want this formation. If you're here. Okay, good. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? Okay, I'm gonna put the squishy ones back and keep going. Did I miss loot? Did I really? Why is Anavia coming? No, 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 no. Girl, you stay there. I'll run back. <laughs> She's the one that's. Oh, poor. Poor thing. Don't worry. Poor Nadia. Guys, we don't miss loot in this stream. We don't miss loot. Loot is sacred. And we will do anything to always loot. Our Lord and Savior. Did you see that? I did. Let's go. Alt. No, I meant everyone. I'm still getting the controls. I'll get there. I promise. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, it's e bugs. Gosh, I don't like having to change my camera at all times. I really don't. May I see <laughs> <laughs> no, you always focus on this one. Yes, thank you. Every attack entails the following. They're explaining to us about the roles. So, well, I guess I can read this to you guys. Um, which is a lot, but it does explain basic things about how attack n happens in these types of games. So every attack during your combat entails the following calculations. First, the attacker makes an attack roll and compares the result to the target's AC to see if the attack was a hit or a miss. So AC is armor bonus, right? So whatever armor you have, it's going to give you some AC. And even if you don't have armor, it's just set to 10. And this is uh, the accuracy. So the attacker makes a roll to see if uh, he's going to hit or, his, or he's going to miss based on your AC. If the attack hits, the attackers make a damage roll to see how much damage it's going to deal. Um, attack is an attempt to harm an enemy during combat. To make an attack roll, you roll a d20 and then add the bonuses and penalties from 
um, everything you have equipped. So if uh, you have proficiency on something and you're using that weapon, then you have a bonus on it. Um, if you are buffed and you have buffed your weapon, then you have an enhancement bonus on it. Um, certain types of enhancements do not stack, um, just so you know. The sum of all these numbers make up the attack roll result and then is compared to the target's AC. So let's use the last fight as example. So I attacked the centipede and I, I got 23. So they're going to break down the rollings, okay? So I, I rolled a d20, a d20 and I had all, almost perfect, so it was a 90. Plus my attack bonus, plus 0 base attack bonus, plus 4 dex, plus enhancement of the mugger, which is my trait, uh, and plus masterwork dagger. Masterwork is a plus 1. Um, I do have a penalty of minus two because I am using two weapons. Um, so remember we discussed this when I was creating the character. We, did, we were discussing about how I have a lower penalty for being two weapon fighting. So there is pretty much no way of you getting no penalty for fighting with two weapons because you have two attacks so they need to be balanced but at the same time I have a lower penalty because I got the trade for two weapon fighting so um, that resulted in in killing the centipede obviously um, so creatures uh, base AC is 10 and then they have their own bonuses um, they are explaining what armor class is right now so the centipede had a 12 uh, AC and then uh, explains how after you compare of those and the rolling against the AC versus damage I dealt, I dealt 6 damage. And this is it. I reduce the hit points of my enemy until he dies. That's pretty much it. If anyone has any doubts, always ping me. If you don't know what's happening on, happening on the screen, let me know, okay guys? I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. This game is not an easy game, so uh, everything is fair. Y you, Shall we move? you're not, we shall move. you're not the only one that's confused. Okay, even I would be confused sometimes trying to calculate all the roles and understand why I'm getting Wherever certain roles. Carry me. Oh right, don't you love spiders? I love Spiders, I have no fear of snippety things, yes. <sighs> no, 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 oh, right. There. What's that I see blood. Blood. You're coming for it. I can't target it? And now I can. It wasn't down on the floor yet. Kill is for <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, critical hit. Apart. It's dead. Oh, cold iron short sword. That's good. That's really good. I like it. Cold iron is plus uh, damage to certain creatures. Certain creatures are weak to cold iron, just so you guys know. So let me find that here. Order by type. Um. Wow, masterwork greatsword. I don't have any fighters using greatswords. There's her, but she likes rapiers. Um. Summons are very specific. Am I encumbered? No, I'm good. Where's the the thing I I saw? Was it that? It's a greatsword. Oh, it was not a short sword. I'm really sad now. Really, really sad. I want more weapons. Oh, cutscene? Something's happening. Uh-oh. Wendua glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipped bowstring and quickly walks over to you. Her cat eyes, cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. Listen here, you. I don't know who you are or where you come from. But you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you. Don't show the light of heaven to soul. Hmm. Don't you want to save the kids lost in a maze? I do want to. 
but I'm not going to risk the future of the tribe for the sake of a few stupid kids. Wow. Chief Soul is hesitant and for good reason. He also understands how dangerous this is for the tribe. Lan's the one who benefits from this childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to go. I have to and find them or whatever's left of them. Ouch. Without any heroics, rely only on myself. Risking only my own life. You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together and find a way out to the surface. So she doesn't want us to bring Lan. She doesn't want us to let the chief know. She wants us to go along with her. Does that smell like a trap? Or is it just me? What do you guys think? Because I... In, in the back of my mind, I'm like, uh, don't trust her. Don't trust her. Um, I thought you considered them to be great warriors. Descendants of great warriors. <laughs> I believe that my people are worthy of greatness, that we are strong and can do many things. That's why we were chased down here. We scared people. But it's one thing to go hunting in the caves and another to fight in the shield maze. When our links closer, her pupils dilating. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple of monsters when there's a whole world out there waiting for us? That's what we thought. But we weren't prepared. Oh no. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark as the primordial night. And if you close your eyes and listen, you will hear the whispers right behind you and soft singing in the distance that seems to rise and fall with the beating of your heart. Windwa looks away. I had to learn from her friend's mistakes. I had to step over the bodies and go further. I don't want to have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst into the maze with no idea where they're going. All because Lan believes that the glowing sword will solve all of our problems. You know, she has a point. Lan does seem like to be the one that's too optimistic. You know, like the good guy is probably naive and stuff like that. She seems to be more like, okay, probably a traitor. <laughs> probably gonna, gonna be backstabbing us. But maybe... She's the most reasonable one. I will still try to, to see if I can catch her on a lie. Lan is sure that the light should be shown to the mongrels. Lan. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? To me, it sounds like suicide. The worst part is that the tribe might actually take his words to the heart and follow where he leads. Oh gosh. We have like a big decision right at head start. Oh, okay. I'll think about it. Do not show the chief the light and I'll lead you through the maze to the surface. I swear it. What to do? What? to do leaving a location so we are at, at at the ending okay so let's save let's go hello everyone i see that there's a lot of people here tonight welcome if you've never been here before i'm Egan. i usually play crpgs rpgs rts's Mostly CRPGs. They're my big passion. Um, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous has just came out, like very recently, and it is the sequel the to my favorite game of all times, which is Pathfinder Kingmaker. Oh, I love how my bot has the best timing ever. My bot is like, it's September! Remember, subs are like 20% less, and he's like, okay, good job, bot. You almost know what I'm talking about. Wait, do you? Uh, <clears throat> fatigued. 
And I see the mongrels don't like me. Great. Has the maze really collapsed? Forwards. No backwards, backwards. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with this voice. 